Yo. What's up, everybody? Rage Cage 20 here, back with a Nightwish song from In This Form's Most Beautiful Album. Today we have Elon, or however you pronounce that. I don't know if it's more E, more E. I don't know. But it's, yeah, <laughs> that's the song we're listening to today. Uh. And, uh, what the fuck do you mean it's not live? I know, isn't that crazy? It's not the live version, that's insane. But it is the official video, so chill. Come watch it with me. And it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a cool video, I'm sure. So, like, ignore the fact that it ain't live. Eventually. Eventually. We'll get there, alright? So, calm dim titties, put some ice cubes on it, and you'll be fine. Um, I don't never know what to expect with Nightwish. <laughs> I expect somewhat similar to what we've heard so far, but different. It's just kind of the best guess I have, really. Um, I heard one split second of the song, and it sounded... I mean, pretty much the definition I just gave. It sounded like that. <laughs> uh, it sounded really cool. It sounded pretty. And I think it's going to be a good time. I'm excited to see what they do with the music video. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into it. Uh, if I seem out of it, I don't know why. <laughs> I feel like I am, but I don't know. I got good sleep. I haven't done much to get tired or anything. So maybe I'm just waking up to to, 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 to recording. You know, maybe that's I mean, it's, that's what it is. I don't know if that makes sense doesn't but pretend like it does for a second so Elon or Elan for the American pronunciation <laughs> uh, fine I wish let's go
That music video was funny. I like that. That was really cool. That's, that was a really cool music video. I like that. Uh, <laughs> see, that's why you gotta watch the music videos sometimes. Where else would I see a random old man swimming in an empty pool, pretending to swim in an empty pool, with a guitar shredding away? You ain't gonna see that anywhere else besides a Nightwish music video. Like, come on now. Like, that's why you gotta check out the videos sometimes, people. See? I just, I just know things. No, I thought that video was really great. I don't know if it was supposed to be funny, or if I just I found a lot of it funny. Uh, but I feel like, <laughs> just so I don't necessarily go into this while the video is going, uh, I feel like those are like just the, the just kind of the natural reactions you have <laughs> if you were just. Uh, if you were just doing some mundane task like doing the laundry or something, all of a sudden you hear, well, how was that one? That was piano. Uh, all of a sudden you just hear a piano and you're just like, fuck, and you look over and all of a sudden there's a stranger in your house playing a piano with a tree going through. you just like, you're just looking like, uh, and you just kind of keep doing what you're doing. Just like, does anyone else see this? <laughs> like, I feel like that would be the reaction you'd have. Just like, uh, excuse me? <laughs> Who are you? Like, I don't know. I just thought that was great. I just, that just made me laugh. Um, good song, good song. I uh, I talked about this at a certain point, but I guess this is uh, around three minutes in, but this is something that we can just talk about from the start to get go here. Because it seemed to have, until the end, uh, had a very kind of neutral energy um, it, it, and volume. It, it didn't seem like it was very loud. It didn't seem like it had this driving energy to it. Uh, it didn't feel like it was kind of monotone or void of energy uh, like we've had a problem with in the past. It just it just seemed like you're expecting, maybe just from past Nightwish experiences or whatever, to just hear this like, you know, this high energy kind of like chorus like volume during the chorus and uh and whatnot and just expecting all this energy and sound and noise and stuff and it feels like they just like zoop, brought it way down which normally i'd be against but since again it's kind of like expecting it and just kind of li not hearing it's like this is weird i kind of liked it uh because it's just like we're so used to having that this is just kind of a Kind of a nice chill vibe compared to that crazy just pump pump boom, you know. And it was just like I was actually okay with it. I was just like, this is kind of nice. It's kind of like it's kind of enjoyable. Um, it's uh, it's just kind of got this uh, this kind of laid back feel to it, and I kind of I kind of enjoyed that. And it was all you know, it also had its epicness to it as well, but it wasn't trying to like like push too much, you know. I thought that was kind of cool. I thought that was really cool. Well, let's head back to this start here. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm not 100% positive what was going on in the video with the owl and the ball and whatnot. Um, and it's very possible I just wasn't paying attention at the at crucial moments. Um, but it seemed like some kind of... Uh, almost like uh, if anyone's watched von Kanto, um and watched uh, Speed of Light to where like they're all in this like other dimension and they all get teleported or they get teleported from where they were to this other dimension to help this girl who's running away from weird monsters monstrous like uh, forest creatures <laughs> and they all come together and help her and then all teleport back to their realm kind of like something like that but like it was like there was like this almost like this this realm that they were all in that they started in and they all got like teleported to reality or something and that might have been what that ball was or something with the owl or maybe the, the 
dusty ass <laughs> innkeeper was fucking around with in the beginning. I don't know. I was 100 percent paying attention at that point. Uh, and then all of a sudden they like get teleported from that like Nightwish, we'll call it world, to the to reality, <laughs> and into people's places and whatnot. And they're just like, why the fuck are you here? And then they all get teleported to, to the gig or something like that. It's kind of what it looked like was happening. I don't fucking know, but it was cool. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, that's that's all I got. I have no idea how close I am or how far away I am but at the beginning here uh, I noted that we had those like, that kind of traditional like European uh, instrumentation that I'm used to from uh, Nightwish some kind of pipe or flute coming in pretty clutch sounded pretty awesome and I thought that there was a really cool video start here I, I don't know what it is but just the thought of a piano glow growing through a tree yet still playing it was really cool so let's see if there's anything else I know we're getting That's the reason I don't even really notice the piano, because that's all there was in the beginning, besides the owl and the ball and the the, uh, the very cool kind of like jazzy nightclub looking thing, which is really cool. Um, very awesome. Uh, around around a minute in, but it's it's pretty much most of the verse uh, from floor here. Uh, I noted that she's, she's got really good high tones, like we've heard how secure she can be with her for really low notes but she's 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 getting borderline falsetto here not quite no like not there yet like not like not on the cusp or anything but like she's getting you can you can hear how it's starting to get a little bit thinner and airy um, not not in a bad way just like you know when you get up to those higher higher and higher pitches it starts to get thinner just naturally and you can you can hear that it's, it's getting up there but she's not reaching that breaking point towards falsetto so there's definitely more interval she can get before she's starting to get to falsetto uh but uh she she's she, she, she's getting up to that high register for her but um it's still it still has this lightness to it it's still uh it's still decently full it's not getting thin thin reedy it's just really good security in both her low notes and her high notes and again i would never argue that she's a good singer <laughs> for sure and she's she's definitely showing it in these first few songs here that how much control she has over her low notes and her high notes so just just listen to this <clears throat> just listen to these high tones and just hear just how secure it is 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 pretty refreshing That dun 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 kind of break up in the rhythm there. That was really nice. It wasn't it was an exaggerated. They didn't bring extra instruments into it. They used the instruments they had to create this nice rhythm breakup. That was really pretty there. That was really cool. Okay, so that ball does seem to be a portal into these different <laughs> different realms or something. Maybe I'm just trying to piece things together here. Okay, there's actually another point that I have here, so it's good that we paused here. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, so first off, I really liked the, uh, the 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 strings and synth that came in there. Uh, it, was, it was a really cool 
There's cool down beats in there, created this cool flavor to everything. But this is something I marked down right here that's going on. Uh, I, I've mentioned this before, I believe in Imaginarium. I think it was in the first video in that one too. Um, that uh, I don't know when, how, or why this came about, uh, but the guitarist has his own stance. Like, he has his own, like, that's his stance. I don't think I've seen anyone else do a full leg split like this and then one at a almost perfect 90 degree angle. I don't know what kind of power or metal stance that, that is, but like it's uniquely his and every time I see it, it's just like yeah there you go he's stretching he's stretching out he's getting that he's getting that foot set and stretching it and just rocking I don't know what benefits that may or may not have to performing sorry if I hit the mic there I hit part of it I don't know what that did. um but like I'm going I ain't going to lie to you it looks pretty cool like it's bordering on silly yet it's still pretty cool so it's just like i just love that and he looks and everyone in the video looks like they're having a good time and i like that too like you know you you especially when kind of this lighter music this light, lighter uh song that's not like super super heavy and dark um uh, just looking at the lyrics to confirm or wait not that or not uh <laughs> Or even if it is, they're pretending like it not, you know, um, which I think is cool. But it's just kind of nice when you have the air, the airy lightness to the instrumentation and everyone in the video is just having a good time. I think it's really cool. Uh, moving on. <laughs> um, around 1.55 here, so we'll just jump a good 30-ish seconds. <laughs> this is when I started notice, noticing all this stuff. It's just hilarious. This everyone's just like, what the? Who the fuck is this? I just thought it was absolutely hilarious. Um, so around here, I said piano and flute-ish. Um, I'm sure there's some instrument out there that's played in front of you that's called a flute. A flute somewhere in the title. Um, but most instruments that are played in front of you are not a flute, and a lot of people still call it a flute, and that drives me insane. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know if the the, the instrument, all the instrumentation that we're hearing here that sounds very flute-like, um, is coming from that instrument that the dude was playing in the uh, in the video. If so, I don't think it's actually a flute, but I put so I put flute-ish. But it does definitely have a flute-like sound quality to it, though also has the res resonation that you would get in a chamber like a clarinet and a recorder and whatnot sound to it. So I could definitely see it being the instrument that he was playing um, and also making it not necessarily a flute, but a woodwind of some type <laughs> that, uh, that is being played here. Um, so yeah, as a piano and flute-ish, something happened here, about approximately 15 seconds, let's find out what it is. Oh, and yeah, here's a, here's a good example of that, we'll even go a few seconds back here, um, and just listen to how, like, we're hearing the, the, the chorus. I don't know why there's an H in there, but the chorus. Um, well, I mean, besides after the C, obviously. At the end, after the S. Um, <clears throat> and uh, just listen to how it doesn't sound like super heavy. It's not like super like packed with energy and just pushing the tempo and speed or anything like that. It's just, it's just a very mellow. It's very chill. It's very just kind of light. But yeah, it still sounds like it has that energy in it, which is... Again, it kind of sounds refreshing. Uh, 
it, it's so weird. I don't. I mean, again, it sounds really beautiful. It sounds awesome and whatnot. It, it has this like the, the, the it's almost like um, what's it called uh, bagpipe like kind of s- effect happening to it. Uh, I don't know if that's a different instrument on top of or like in, involved in the mix in this somewhere, or if that's coming from maybe the keyboard or whatever. I do not know, but an instrument of that that size and that uh, what's the word I'm looking for creation. I don't think can make that sound. <laughs> so unless unless there's something I don't know or I'm just tripping, my ears are tripping. Uh, so it's either not just that instrument and there's some other kind of European like instruments performing at the same exact time or it might not be that instrument that we're hearing. I do not know. <laughs> I, I truly do not know. There's a lot of inst- a lot of very unique niche instruments out there that I do not know of. Um, so fuck if I know. But just from my past experiences and whatnot, that the particular sounds I'm hearing that are happening in there occasionally is like ha- like 75% of them are like, yeah, it could come from that instrument. But 25% is like, don't think that instrument can make that sound. So maybe they have some extra kind of bagpipe-like instrument on there. They've done it before. Um, so, you know, who knows? Who knows? But it sounds beautiful. Let's let it run for a few more minutes. A few, few more seconds here. Yeah, no. <laughs> that meow, 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 kind of thing that happened at the end there. I don't think that 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 I can't make that sound. <laughs> it looks like a simple wooden like pipe flute or something. I don't. I don't well, not making this a pipe flute. Was a, yeah. Oh, that'd be pan flute. Uh, but it's, it's just a simple, small piped instrument, almost recorder like instrument. I don't think it can make that sound. <laughs> so it must be extra instruments on there. Anyways, beautiful. Beautiful nonetheless. Um, three minutes, and I mentioned that. So we already talked about the neutral kind of energy and volume going on. Uh, so I won't mention that again. Let's go to around 3:30. Uh, I was at this point where I didn't um, have time to necessarily write out what I was thinking. So I just have two times timestamps: one at 3:30, one at 3:45. The one I believe is at 3:30 was I was impressed. You know, marker first joining. Uh, joining in vocals. I don't know if he did that before because it's even kind of hard to hear him in the mix when it happens when you can see him singing. Um, but like you can kind you can hear him in there. He's he's definitely in there, but it's not uh, what they usually do where you can do like where he's pushing out on top as well as the female singer in the group, whoever it is at the time. Uh, he's just kind of he's just kind of really harmonizing and just kind of. Uh, joining the the sound and not necessarily shining which was a very beautiful touch uh, but also I saw him playing not not a bass but an instrument that I was just like is it kind of looks like a cello but he's playing it like a string bass uh, so and it lo- looks like very custom made, special, unique, like the kind of ones that Lindsay, the violins that Lindsay Sterling uses. That's mostly just the string, and most of the uh, the chamber of the instrument is not there. Like kind of like unique, like that. Um, but uh, uh, I don't know if that's a string bass or not because it doesn't seem tall enough to be a string bass. So I think he's p- just pizzicatoing a cello. It's at least what it looked like, but it was really cool. It was really cool either way. I don't know if he's actually playing it or not, but it was, you know, it's cool. I'm sure he can. I'm just saying I don't know if in the video he was actually playing it. That was actually the sound we were hearing in the 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 the, the, the production. Here. Yeah, let's actually go back to that. Let's actually look at that. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, that's definitely a cello, and he's definitely plucking it. 
or at least a cello like instrument it's not big enough to be a string bass and it's, it's definitely a cello um or again cello like it could have a different name it'd be slightly different i don't know like a violin a viola kind of thing anyways <laughs> so it's interesting i wonder if he's actually playing if that is actually being played in the mix somewhere that we're listening to or if that's just for the video i do not know but that is interesting uh so 345 right i hear i hear it actually we'll even uh go back here to catch it uh so as i mentioned at the end it changes up a little bit they kind of give it a little bit more energy it still kind of has that nice like laid backness to it but uh they kind of they give it more you know the final time repeating the chorus kind of pumping more energy into their textbook standard but fantastic uh sounds really good Uh, we got a lot of good stuff going on here uh, right here as I mentioned they picked up the energy a little bit which is awesome uh, and uh, just all the harmonies that's going in here the top the top melody line that you got going from floor she's 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 giving it more you, you even hear some embellishments in there every now and then with like the ooh stuff uh, and uh, it's just, it sounded really beautiful what this made me think of here uh, we're going to go back and listen to a little bit of it again. Um, what it made me think of here is that, uh, like, it, I, I don't know if people are exaggerating, and I'm not going to mention this at every single, uh, I wasn't going to mention it at all in this video, but then I saw the thumbnail of this for this specific song live that I was just like, okay, maybe it is. Because um, <clears throat> uh, if you haven't seen or watched Alex Hefner, uh, do reaction videos I highly recommend it he's a lot more most people's pace where it's only like eight to ten minutes kind of thing uh, and he loves everything but he's got a good energy about him he's, he seems like a really chill really cool dude uh, and I, I like watching his stuff um, but this video specifically I obviously haven't watched yet because I don't want to listen to anything I haven't listened to yet just in case I want to do a video of it like this video but the thumbnail uh, like in the, the title he says I'm um, like uh, like y'all tricked me or something and like in the thumbnail it's like i couldn't finish the reaction and it's just her being like ah and, just, and it's just like maybe she does just, just go fucking hulk mode and just bust out live to where it's just like this is insane or people are exaggerating i feel like it's one of the two so that hey that gives me something to look forward to <laughs> like you know i really want to see does she really just fucking boom balls to the wall when it's live or whatnot i don't know either way this is the last time i'm gonna mention i promise until we get to the live videos <laughs> then no promises but this is the last time i'm gonna talk about it. i just thought that that was interesting just because i saw that thumbnail i wasn't gonna bring it up anymore because i don't want it, every single video to be like still not there yet you know and i don't want to keep harping on that or bring bring that up every single video i'll let you know if we get there but i'm not gonna bring it up every single video um <clears throat> but uh yeah maybe maybe either way I really like that song. It was really pretty. It was really beautiful. It wasn't like, it wasn't like over the top crazy energy. Um, it was just nice. It was, it was just nice and, and sweet. There was just like a sweetness about it. It was, it was really pretty. It was really beautiful. Uh, it was just a, another again again put in the books. Another classic, very well done night whistle. I mean, there's, there's nothing else to it but that. Uh, it was just it was really good, really well written, sounded great, good stuff. The last the last chorus through is just epic epic as hell music video was, was very fascinating and very uh very hilarious i enjoyed it quite a bit um and yeah that's all i got uh next song yours is an empty hope which is just a great title in general i'll probably be listening to that today as well um uh, and yeah thank y'all for joining me hope you enjoyed this song as much as i did and I will see you all in the next one.